Dancing around like a hawk The pack of vultures to tell it's strong Waiting for the spoil of my kill Breaking everything I built Then you leave me here and wait for it to fall You burn it down and you cut and run With no regard to the damage done And while they fell for everything You were waiting in the wings Make them dry and bleach their bones in my sun But now I'm on to you And you can bet Yeah, it's true, Paul. Oh, Paul. You still there? Let's get low. Okay, yeah, you should. It's coming through your speakers. Really? Am I going through your headphones? Am I going through your headphones? Okay. Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome to the stream, and thank you for joining. I have with me tonight actually a special guest, and first time on my stream tonight, I'm going to have a guest. This is Tony Lopez, also known as King of Guitar 1995. Very What's good up? friend of mine. We've been playing games since it's been, you know, God, how old were we? Uh, shoot, Eight, it's been nine, a long ten, time. something yeah. like that, yeah. So it's good to have him here. As you can see, he's got his nice new hat on, which is really, really cool. <laughs> Very happy for him. Guy's got some big stuff going for him. But I hope all of you are having a good night tonight. Um, he'll be here, so definitely, you know, say hello, talk a little bit, ask questions, irritate me, do whatever. I love all of you the same. <laughs> wow, you, you don't even mention that I'm here. Thanks, Tyler. I was hoping you would say something so I could say, by the way, but you just sat quietly. Yeah. I was waiting for you okay. to call me a bitch, honestly. Oh, bitch. Okay, bitch. There it is. No, yo, you got me him. What? Mickles. My boy, Tony. Don't, don't clap for Tony. He said my boy and started clapping for you. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm Tony. Uh, I've been friends with uh, Mr. El Coolio, Tyler here. I've been friends with them since we were both uh, 10, I'd say. Back in 2005 was when we first met when I came here. So we, we've been friends for a long time. and Absolutely. Absolutely. Let me, you know what? I'm going to push my chair down so I can be on Tony's side. I don't want to make him feel like I'm some giant monster. <laughs> Look how short I got. <laughs> I mean, whether you're sitting or standing, you're still taller than me. Regardless. This is true. 
But at least you can have like a feeling of some type of equilibrium if I'm down here. <laughs> and surprisingly, it's actually kind of. Oh, well, that's nice. Thank you. Well, that's good. Yeah, I lost connection to the host already. How come you can't be the host? Because I don't have money for a server. Oh, well. Shoot. <laughs> 47 seems to be a lucky number, so I'll go with that. Yeah, that works. <laughs> <sighs> Drawing myself a little bit of some crown oil and coke. The other night it was rum and coke. Yeah, I know. But just a quick birthday gift that my dad decided to get me. There's nothing wrong with that. So, for anybody that is watching the stream, they can see right here on my hat, it says America's Navy. Uh, just recently I was sworn in at the military entrance processing station into the United States military for the uh, Department of the Navy. I My ship man. off to recruit training command April 2nd. So, fairly close. I still get less than a couple months more to hang out with this dude and to hang out with all my other buddies and my fiance, who's probably sleeping right now. But, yeah, get some couple more months before I ship off and then... I'll be going through hell for eight weeks and seeing how well I do. Hopefully, I make it through. Of course, you I'll, will. I'll do my best. <laughs> Michael is clapping for you right now. You <laughs> damn straight. That's right. We, all of us Twitch streamers. Well, I speak for myself and Nichols, of course. We definitely support our nation's military. So you know, they definitely thank you for what you do, and it's actually an honor to have you on the show for you being able to go up and surf or something like that. Yeah, I'm glad to be here. Oh yeah. Even though it's it's volunteer service, that's I've been wanting to do this ever since I was a he has junior I ROTC confirm. cadet. I was an Army junior ROTC cadet in high school. I did three years, so just by doing those three years is giving me automatic E three for enlistment. So as soon as I get through my eight weeks of boot camp, I will be classified as an E three. That rank for the United States Navy is classified as a seaman. I know y'all are thinking of some dirty jokes right now with that name, Mr. Sorry. Tyler. Sorry. But, I yes. Mentality of like 10-year-olds sometimes. <laughs> That'd be the classification for that rank for an E3. From there, after I do my uh, eight weeks of boot camp, graduate, get to spend time with family after Liberty, and then that next day I'll be transported over to Fort Sam Houston in San Antonio, Texas, where I will be there for 19 weeks for my A school. I'm going as a hospital corpsman, which basically they work on medical stuff, learn basic first aid procedures, making sure that I'm keeping my fellow sailors and Marines alive and well. And then after that, for the job which in the navy is classified as a rate the rate that i chose was for da which is classified as dental assistant so basically i would just be assisting in dental procedures nonetheless you're doing it for our country mm -hmm. so what's good about this from what i was told by my recruiter is less likely i will be stationed on ship or overseas more than likely, I will be... Okay, this ping is horrible, folks. Sorry to cut you off. <laughs> I, I'm just apologizing for in advance. I'm going to fix that. If this doesn't work, we'll just... Yeah, I'm going to restart. Return again. to the combat area. I think I left the game open and I go too long. Aw. It's all right. <laughs> you continue to say what you got to say, man. I would like to hear it. Yeah, so from there, I do those 19 weeks. And then with the dental assistant program, there's an additional six weeks of training of what's known as C school. So the way that the Navy does their training, they have their A school, which is the the schooling and the training for your primary career field. So with me being hospital corpsman, that's the corpsman class A school. And then for the rate that I had chose for dental assistant, I get an additional six weeks of specialized C training, C school training. So once I do those 25 weeks, I will be able to pick my first duty station, but don't want to get too ahead of myself because 
like I said before, I still got to get through those eight weeks of boot camp first. And, of course, I got all my friends and family supporting me. They're very happy and excited for me to go, even though they're going to miss me. I'll be sure to write to them. I hope for them to write back to me. And won't let them down. I'll do my best, work my butt off, make sure I'm able to get through it all. That's right, my dude. I'm going to go on mute and deaf real quick. You're good. <laughs> Once again, folks, welcome to the stream. If you are just now joining in, we are having some technological difficulties, as always, with this darn game. Because, of course, it's not a finished game. Because why should any historical game that I play be a finished product? I know. What is but it's okay. On? It's okay. That's the, you know, <laughs> the price we pay to sit here and play these wonderful games. For example, War of Rights, which I'll be playing this weekend quite a bit, as you all know. Uh, it does that even more so than uh, Rising Storm does. And that's better than watching every other streamer play Fortnite. Fair enough. I haven't played a single Battle Royale game. I'm, you know, and of course I say this now, uh, I don't play Battle Royales normally, but there's a big part of me that's really thinking about one of these days just running some good old Apex because everybody else and their mother is as it seems see i i saw the trailer for that i know that it's free right now to play i know i have ps4 and every now and then off of my twitch channel i'll go stream it's kind of rare when i do because i'm not that big of a streamer as opposed to tyler here but like i said every now and then if i'm really feeling the mood i'll stream something but i feel you with the battle royale i started playing fortnite i first i didn't get used to it and then after a while, I kind of liked it. It's more of the solo gameplay that I don't like because I'm not very good at the game. Shame on me. But whenever they had 50 versus 50 out, oh, I was always playing that. All right, folks. Well, I think I am going to throw a change of plans in here. Because it doesn't want to work. That and... I miss playing this. <laughs> so I'm going to go stick with an original that we all know that I do. Happy Friday Night War of Rights, folks. Go ahead and update that stream there and get this going for us. Sweet. The Ninja Toothpick, thank you so much for the follow, man. I appreciate it. We are now at a 48 out of 50, 96% of our goal here with seven days to go. Thank you so much, my man, and I really appreciate it. Welcome to the stream, buddy. <laughs> Definitely appreciate you being here. So, uh, War of Rights, for those that don't know, if you have, you know, just sound tuning in and kind of getting into the swing of things. First of all, my favorite game ever, because I am a Civil War historian, so making some an immersive Civil War game like this was probably the greatest thing that ever happened to me here. That's exactly what it is. It's an immersive Civil War game, and I absolutely adore it. And I just, I definitely love sharing it with you guys, and so you can see the craziness that this game is. This man has a big history buff when it comes to the Civil War. Any questions that you may have in regards to it? I'm sure you can answer. I'd like to think so at some point. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, you did have a great ancestor, a great, great grandfather, yeah. right? Absolutely right. Mm -hmm. He served in that. Yes, he did. See, as far as my ancestry, <laughs> I'm sure they were just Mexicans. <laughs> that's all. That's all I can think. <laughs> I don't know if they would have fought during the war in that time. Oh yeah, man, <laughs> history is the big, the big <laughs> thing here. Wow, they actually changed some of the font too. It's actually kind of cool. All right. So there must have been an update recently. Yeah, man, uh, I've done history for a few years now. I actually started with the National Park Service back in 2015, mm -hmm. and I was given tours of uh, the Fredericksburg, Virginia battlefields. And just traveling around a different battlefield and trying to learn some of the history there. 
Um, fun fact, the game that I'm playing here I learned about because I gave the developers a tour at what we call the Wilderness Battlefield here in, you know, where I'm from. And that was such a great game. And they were describing to me how this game's going to be, what it's about, what their idea behind it is. And of course, I jumped all over it and I was like, well, let me get a business card. And here we know, two years, three years later, four years later at this point, I've finally been able to see it released in an alpha mode. And, like, I've been loving it. Every bit of it. The realistic, you know, feel to the game of having to move in battle lines is just, it's incredible. To tell BZ I said thank you, man. And I'll, again, once again, thank you and welcome to our stream. We're really, really happy to have you. I'm going to start doing more of this, having a military affiliated people here, because of course we're a military history based stream here. If you like to talk history and just want to come in with games that you know you've seen, we're going to play as Union tonight too, change things up a bit. But I don't know what's going on with the graphics tonight either. So, I'm going to go ahead and try to fix that real quick for you guys. I don't like that. So, give us one second here. Civilizations in like Mesopotamia and so on. Okay. Well, there's definitely nothing wrong with that. Oh, this would explain it. It's not 1920. That would explain it. Okay, we're we're good. Yeah, that definitely. Was. Yeah. Oh, I can get on my CS18 too now. Oh, and the 13th Virginia because they're coming from Harper's Ferry. Yay! Harper's Ferry is very cool. About it. Brady. BZ, thank you so much, buddy. Feudal Japan is my strong area. The samurai in their way of life, mesmer. Oh, dude, absolutely. They have one of the most amazing fighting styles. And in fact, uh. With that, and I'm going to tie it into the Civil War thing here, Robert E. Lee actually used tactics from Sun Tzu's Art of War in planning the Battle of Gettysburg once he started making contact with Union forces in Pennsylvania. So that's a really cool piece of history, if you haven't known that already. Hey, Tyler. Hmm. Uh, your game is cropped low. It's cropped low? No, it's not cropped well. Yeah, yeah, Kappa Yankee in the South South Seas. Mm -hmm. It's extremely zoomed in. Extremely zoomed in. Okay, thank you. I knew it. Yeah, because I had my thing. Hold on. Alright, thank you for that. South 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 Better. Uh, put it up to yeah. Yeah, yeah. I had to change it. The settings reset themselves because there was an update. Ooh, that's a cannon right there. <laughs> I actually think I'm saying well, seven ten. I see you guys are no shit. A private forte, and it looks like only private forte. But I'll take that. Uh, he's part of my regiment there that I'm in. Guitario, welcome to the stream, buddy. Kingshot, CEO. welcome CEO. to the stream, brother, man. Don't call me a bitch. <laughs> Tony, uh, Kingshot, his name's Cameron. He's a gentleman I work with. He's a very, very cool guy. If you What's ever up? get a chance, you can on the stream as well. Okay, they're standing behind this wall for a reason. <laughs> so I'm gonna join them. Oh, look, it's a Yankee. Sorry, Mikkels, I didn't know you were here from Michigan. I know. <laughs> Once again, guys, if you're just now joining the stream, thank you very much for joining in. We are currently on a follow goal at 96%. Two more follows away until we hit 50, our goal. So if you are enjoying what you're seeing, hit that follow button. How many Yankees are Alright, That was really close. Uh, was northeast. North, northeast. Or how do you do this? I'm gonna go help that one. Out. Seems like the Virginians are over there. No, don't crouch. Racial <laughs> shift. 
stay back, stay back, stay back for me. No. Yeah. Yeah, let's push up. Right. Let's not push up, red dog. First time seeing this game. Like, the graphics look good. Oh, you haven't seen War of Rights yet? I have not seen this yet. Yeah, the man. Graphics look really and good. And this is only on a medium spec graphic level. Oh, the blue Yankees right there. Ooh, nice kill. I got a new one too. Yay! Sweet. No, I, I should have. I need to break reload. Actually, the one thing about this game Ooh. is you've got to be able to like understand how wait what's this have you ever played ps2 game civil war nation divided yes the one that the history channel put out yeah that was actually one of my favorite I civil played war that games too. up until this did you really yeah i played that too that's really cool yeah man that was one of my favorites by far since i uh, actually when i was getting into the civil war around the time that game came out and the fredericksburg map just had me fucking mesmerized <laughs> yeah it is they had it for uh pc that's actually what i originally played it for obviously it was like the disc so i didn't need some high spec pc back in like early 2000s but i was able to play it and i loved it a lot definitely if i could if i could have it again for this and if i can find a download link for it man i'm so stream the entire campaign in a day i wouldn't move from this chair at all <laughs> Yeah, char dude, that, that's the one where you're in the trenches almost, right? And they're firing artillery, like, constantly at you. Because if that's the one, that, the same one I'm thinking about, where, like, that guy dies at the very beginning, he's telling you he's the only one left, and he gets shot, and then these cannonballs just rain over. Yeah, that one was so hard. You get the Gatling gun, too, I think, halfway through the mission, and just start wrecking everybody in the trench. They, I the Which, you know, of course, historically didn't happen, so... From down the hill. Congratulations. Oh yeah, and that was the cool thing about the game is because artillery would actually hit you and knock you out. <laughs> and they're just now implementing that in War of Right, so you like you can hear it coming through, I'm sure. And it'll blacken your screen if you're close enough to the artillery blast and you know get you unable to aim very well. So as annoying as it is, it's really cool for the realism effect. They even have gunplay with the bayonet on. Here, boys, keep it up. All right, all right. We need a few people to look south. We need everybody that can see the flag look south. You're in front of the south, the front flags in front of the south, the south. Yeah, the flags in front of you look south. Look at the big ass over there. The big ass oak tree. There's hey, quite a few of them over there. Do you guys want to jump the fences and just fucking do I like that idea. Uh, or not that. <laughs> this is on my multiplayer, yeah. It's actually on sale and on Steam. I'm going to be doing a giveaway though, too. So once I get to my uh, 50 follower goal, I'm going to be giving a Steam key away for this game. So definitely, if you don't get it before, then stick around for that. It's gonna be at random. So anyone that has followed throughout this goal, I've kept track, and I will be randomly selecting one person to get a copy of War of Rights, and we'll talk about getting you in with the Seven Tennessee. Speaking of the Seven Tennessee, you know I've got to have my part. The cool thing about War of Rights is you can form into regiments and teams. Um, a lot of these are uh, going to be TeamSpeak based or Discord based too, as well as having websites. As you see in the link there, we have the TennesseeBrigade.com. Uh, I do belong to the 7 Tennessee Company F. Great bunch of guys. We drill every Sunday and we'll do live streams about 2.30 p.m. EST of any of the live drilling that we do there. If you're interested in looking into joining or kind of finding out more about what we do as a regiment while we play, uh, authenticity and realism is definitely one of the key goals of our regiment and our brigade, I believe. And we do drill and practice and fight a lot in order to have that be a thing. So, uh, if you want to get some video ideas, uh, my stream, some of my past broadcasts are on the website. We have some uh, game recordings from Jehovah, who if you get a chance to follow and go check out, definitely go check out Jehovah's page. He's awesome at doing some of the Civil War stuff with us. So, yeah, if you have the moment... Check them out. 
show them some love and see what we have on the website. And if you played the game, www.tennesseebrigade.com is where you guys show up. Might not be able to deploy just due to the fact that we are in final stand mode. But I might get lucky and be able to hit CSA deployment and just throw an extra body in the case. Mm. Awesome. I'll take it. Yeah, Tony, it may look a little boring, but we're also in kind of a shitty situation right now. It's halfway it through. Again. To me. No, it's not. It is literally the greatest game I've ever played. Oh, yep. Oh, they don't go away either. Oh, yeah, there you go, get him. Fuck. I got shot. Dude, it's great. I was just thinking about doing history stuff on stream the other day. Hey, man, anytime. If you want to try to get together and talk ideas, we can even do podcast. I'm always looking for people to do history stuff with because there's so many cool games out there with this history field that some really do portray realism and try to go for that aspect. And it's really cool to be able to do that because I can use that time to help teach. Cause let's be real. If I'm going to sit in a room, like a classroom, with a textbook and a fucking chalkboard, nobody's going to want to learn. <laughs> who, who the fuck wants to learn shit? <laughs> They're gonna go to sleep on their hardwood desk and probably drool in the textbook and have, you know, crazy thoughts come through their head. However, come on the stream and watch an actual interesting game. I'm gonna drink and hang out and talk to you guys. It's really cool to have that because then at the same time, that gives me the opportunity to teach a little bit. You know, I, I'm well versed in the Battle of Antietam. In fact, I just finished a 400 book about soldiers' experiences in Antietam and PTSD. So I know a little bit of thing about so if you guys have questions about the game you're seeing or if, if this is real, did this really happen, is this historically accurate? I encourage you to ask because I'd love to answer those questions for you. Alright, since this flag spawn wants to be broken. Yeah, I've been noticing that too. It's not that it's broken, so you get a limited number of spawns. The flag's gonna bring you right up to the action or wherever your regiment's at. Mm -hmm. So as you saw, I was there was like four people in front of me, three or four out of three. That means I'm fourth in line out of four people, or third in line out of four people. Ah, uh, I got you. Okay, that really, makes sense. Yeah. So it's basically waiting in line to spawn back in the game. Yeah, or you can just spawn to deployment at the game speed. Makes sense. Yeah, dude, like I said, these graphics right here aren't even the craziest they can go. I'll go ahead and throw them on, because why not? While we're on stream, if it's going to work. Look at this one minute. I'm going to try to get you guys the best graphics we can tonight. Fucking finally. There's a high graphics, apparently. There we go. Yeah, there it goes. Go ahead and fix bayonet here. Do you normally play with the 30 frames? Per yeah, second? 30 frames per second. It's safe that way in this game. Because again, you are playing an alpha game, as you can see up there in the corner. Yeah. And a lot of the times when it's at full 60, it crashes. I haven't had it crash since I've been on 30. That's good. Yeah, so I've learned kind of how to stream. Because I can stream a lot of games at 60. But I do keep... I mean, the graphics on this, even for 30, are pretty damn good. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm going to be real, too. And I'm sure, Brady, you can help, too, as well, understand this. But that Civil War game, the uh, Nation Divided... The graphics in that game for its time were absolutely incredible, especially like the skylines and some of the like visuals you had. Definitely a very good game. And they made a second one too called, uh, oh, who? Toothpick, why'd you do that? What happened? <laughs> yeah, Nightbot's an asshole, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ooh, Urban Warfare, even better. 14 Tennessee, have to do it. With a pattern infield. Let's get in. 
If you're just now joining into this stream, thank you for joining. Welcome to Friday Night War of Rights. Oh, Macroadrenio, thank you so much for following, putting us at 49. One more away from our goal. Thank you so much for following, my friend. One more. Welcome to the stream and welcome to the battlefield. We are currently in Harper's Ferry, fighting a sizable force. Let's see the number. 112 of us. This should be a fun battle. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, uh, poor warning. When I say hey, you say there is a bunch of profanity on the game chat and there is racism. I do apologize. I try to get away from it as soon as possible. It's proximity chat and I will leave certain battle lines if I hear it because it's offensive and not okay. I do apologize for that. And if it gets to the point where it's bad, I have actually turned off game chat in the past, which is not recommended because it is better to understand what your groups are doing. Bloodhound256, thank you for hitting the goal tonight. I appreciate you so much. We are at 50 followers. Sweet. Thank you guys so much for your follows tonight. Thank you for your views. You guys are amazing. Wow. Holy crap, I don't even care that I died right now. <laughs> That's oh, how you know it's a good stream man. tonight. Everybody, thank you so much for coming in. Like, holy crap. Wow. I'm serious to that. Yeah, absolutely. Keep pushing. <sighs> Guys, this has been a very big goal for mine for the past, like, two months. Thank you so much. I don't even want to spot in. Dude, don't start crying. Man. I'm not gonna start crying. I'm just so like really, really happy. This is been, I've been working for this for quite some time, man. Hundred percent. That looks. That's beautiful. So somebody's getting a copy of War of Rights. So stick around for that. We're gonna go ahead and get that taken care of here soon. I will announce on Friday next week. So you guys stay tuned. I will be live Friday. Uh, we do have a stream schedule here, so when I throw up one of our BRBs or stream ending streams, definitely check out the schedule and see when we're streaming and catch us live. It will announce the winner again Friday, starting at 9 p.m. EST. Check us out again. Once again, folks, thank you so much. Cheers, cheers, cheers. All right, we got a battle to fight, boys. One thing I don't like, but I also like, is the reload system. It takes forever, but that's how long it takes to load a musket. Let's be real. So, not always safe out there on the battlefield, are you? Especially with the reload. And I do reenactments too every now and then, and they're, they're really fun. So that, that helps with this game too. BZ, thank you for removing the timeout. why you are a mod good friend <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> guys I really I can't thank you enough I'm literally one of the best Fridays I've had in my life this is amazing because not only is teaching history a passion but streaming and being able to teach you guys history and hang out and see all of you guys and just th that's been another passion of mine so thank you for making it a real thing. Couldn't do it without you guys at all. If you don't oh. get a shot off, dodge back in. Oh. Gosh, gosh damn it. I thought you were gonna get away with that. Thank oh, you, Jeff. Thank you, <laughs> Jeff. Yeah, Brady, it, it's evil. I'm gonna I'm probably gonna disable Nightbot here in the future so that we can be hype in here because I need that. I absolutely love and feed off of hype too, so like, you guys would definitely make the stream better the more you spam and hang out. I'm cool with that shit. Easy. Gotta pull him up. Give me one second. Sorry, Shim, I definitely want to talk to him. Can you hear me?
Alright, I'm gonna try to fix Discord. It's being shitty right now. Uh oh. It happens. It's okay. Minor technical difficulties. But we'll get through it. Yeah, we're gonna take just a quick BRB, guys. Try to get this back and going. So I definitely wanna have Discord on. There we go. Dude. Yep. Dude, oh my god. Hey, check check the Check what? Check your email. Check my email. Should be looking at which email am I my uh okay I just remember. There is your email for Twitch. Probably my clutter box. Twitch. Yeah. I got I found all my follows. Nothing yet. Uh, but I've got it right here in front of me. Do do you still have the three average shooters? Yeah. Three point one four. Okay. Well, you got it. I know, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> This is the best Friday. That is 50 and... Oh, that's so... That's so <laughs> Beezy, thank you so much, buddy. For all of your support, man. I... Really, man. No. Alright, so I am going to go ahead and drop some of the graphics so it does look like it's messing with it and I had it a good way. So, throw them back down to medium. Because, hey, even though they're medium, they're alright. It's not... I know, mediums, do even low's not bad. And medium still runs at least 30 for me. Alright, let's get out of this house back here. Try to find out where all these guys ran off to. Can't jump over that fence. I have to try to run around. No, so that's what I saw. <laughs> Holy crap, that's a lot of dead Yankees. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's an officer right here. I'm staying with him. Oh, dead officer now. Where did he get shot from? Oh, <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, that was a lot. Yeah. That's not good.
see if I can just put it on this flag right here. Third out of line, it's not bad. <laughs> BZ. Where'd you go? Mr. BZ. Uh oh. He's offline. Sorry, he'll get back on. There are Yankees over there. Yeah, what's going on with the faces? Rebel, rebel. Behind Get him! Oh, I don't even see him. If you're just now joining the stream, thank you for joining and welcome to Friday Night War of Rights. It's a tradition of sorts. <laughs> A tradition. No, okay, hell no. Ten is way too much. little lag. Yeah, dude, if you do some type of history stream, I'm all for it. I'll definitely tune in and watch. Like, if you want any ideas, too, definitely hit me up, and I can maybe hopefully help you get some of my ideas down. I'm sure you can do it yourself, though. Yankees on top of the road. Come. I hear, that's a very familiar voice. You guys got him. Somebody's got That's why, because Clamus is up there. There you go. Oh. Oh! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Get him. Oh, <laughs> damn Yankees, man. They got me. <laughs> I was like, I hear a familiar 7 Tennessee voice, and I get all excited to try to find him and get shot by two Yankees coming down a hill playing Rambo. <laughs> Fuck it. I guess that works, right? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. I'm sorry for the guy making donkey noises right now. I don't know what's going on with them. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and get this deployment down. All right, I'm back. Welcome back. So, uh, what's it going? Dude, I'm just amazing and happy. <laughs> really happy. Yeah. You hit your goal. Yeah. I did hit my goal. I'm looking at a 100% goal right now, man. Damn, did our whole army get destroyed? Oh, sucks. I won. See, I went. Am I gonna get the email probably when I log off of here? I would imagine. Maybe. No, actually, Jeff got his right away. Uh, not right away, but like he got his live on stream. Okay. Yeah, because I got like all the emails for the, the follows and everything. But and I looked at the stats and it said 3.14 for my average viewers, uh, 16 out of 8. Or seven for my seven hours. Yeah. And then 50 out of 50. Everything else is like green. The entire thing's green. Yeah. Dude. Nice 
there you go. It's insane. Eh? Melee mode. I didn't even like I I oh my god. Hey, no time. Mama ain't raised I'm no I'm not bitch. gonna cry. Why y'all keep thinking I'm gonna cry? <laughs> Can a dude be like extravagantly happy without crying? No. No? Do I no, have I, to cry? No, you're not allowed to show emotion. Okay, so. I can't do it. I'm too happy to not show emotion. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> and I'm sorry I'm taking light over so many mass union dead right now. I shouldn't be smiling while I'm walking over this many of them. <laughs> he just turned around the corner and just shot in the chest. Sorry for your luck, but did you see him drop? I got one all the way at the wall. Hey man, that's why you give him surprise education. Fuck! Surprise education fact number one. Don't stand in front of enemy fire. Because that happens. Surprise education. Mm -mm. Someone's playing Confederate music. They're playing. I hear Bonnie Blue Flag playing in the background. <laughs> it happens all the time. Someone will like sit here and play Dixie the entire stream. I was like, okay. Ooh, final push, final push. Right, boys, we're yeah, we're in business. It's final push. Be right back again. I'm about to watch a YouTube video. You're good, buddy. Okay. I ain't going nowhere. Alright guys, after this game I am going to go grab another drink and put it just on a quick BRB intermission if you will and then we'll be back. So thank you again for such a great night. Guys, you really, 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 really made my night one of the greatest. So glad to have you guys aboard. Also so glad to have Tony here tonight. Mm -hmm. I can't wait for him to get out of boot camp and see you guys again. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. See how the process he goes through. Cause first year too, before he goes, when I start streaming, he's over. We're gonna have him come in. Cause I definitely want him to be a regular mm -hmm. pop in on our stream. We'll also have many other special guests as well as time allows. Uh, I know quite a few people, so we'll have some very interesting folks pop in from here, you know, time to time. Yeah. So definitely keep keep in touch, keep following up. Then we want to get as much time as Dude, absolutely. Because I'll be gone for at least. And I'm going to write you too. Eight months, I'll be gone. I'll write you all the time you're in there. And keep up to date. Don't worry, I'll be sending, I'll be sending letters to everybody. I got you. I gotta you're going to be my little regular, regular pen pal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll even give you one of those cool little capital stamps. I'll send you letters from the Capitol building. Nice. I've got my cool. I'll show you one of the streams there. I got some cool like letterheads in here and all that cool stuff. That's a bet. Oh yeah, man. My hope is when I get through all my training, when I get through A school and C school, and I pick my first assignment, my first TV station, I'll do my best to get somewhere close around this area. Oh, misfire! Yeah. <laughs> my idea is, hopefully, you know, either uh, Quantico. Or Bethesda, or even Norfolk, somewhere around here. I was about to say the first two are very close to where I'm at, working wise. So that would be kind of cool. My only other options after that, uh, Vegas, just because that's where I came from. That's where all my family's at. Right. And if I'm lucky enough, I mean even California, because that's where my half brother lives. So California, Vegas. If I'm lucky, either Michigan or uh, be stationed at Naval Station Great Lakes. There you go. Assisting in some dental work for all the new recruits that come in. You know, I've, been, I've been watching some videos, getting a feel for what's gonna happen, what I should be expecting. I already know that the worst, worst, worst day of boot camp is 
during P days, which is the processing, it's about a week long. Right. You basically get processed in the boot camp. You get your division picked. You meet your RDCs, which are your recruit division commanders. Get your haircuts, and then the the best worst part, all the medical and your immunizations. So, they'll be going over my medical stuff, do dental work, and then I get all my shots. Yay, the big needles. Yay. And the one I definitely am not looking forward to, it's the penicillin shot, or they call it the peanut butter shot. I'm not looking forward to that one. Why do they call it the peanut butter shot? I have no idea. I just know that it's a big needle that's going straight into my ass cheek, and I'm not looking forward to it. Very descriptive. Yeah, I know. Tell me about it. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Sorry, you've got to go what? through that. He Oh, he joins in right now. You joined in at the perfect time. We're talking about a peanut butter shot that goes in your ass cheek. <laughs> oh. Tony, explain that again so BZ can hear it. So, while I'm there during the first week, I get all my immunizations. And the worst shot that everybody gets that I'm not looking forward to is the penicillin shot. They call it the peanut butter shot. And as what we were discussing, it's a shot that goes straight into my butt cheek. And I'm not looking forward to that. As far as I know, the needle's about yay long. It's about two inches long. That's going to suck. That's going to really suck. Well, all right, stream, we're going to go ahead and take just about a three-minute, if that, little break real quick, just so I can go grab another drink and get everything situated for our intermission and second half of this War of Rights night. So, BZ, I will be back in, like, two, three minutes, if that. I'm just going to go refill a drink, use the bathroom. Uh, yeah, we won't take too long. All BRB, guys. Yeah.
are you back yet? Okay. Alright, well, I want to say this before I head to bed. Yeah. Congrats on hitting 50. Thank you, my man. <laughs> Welcome to Affiliate. Thank you. get it soon. And I expect a picture of when you get it. Oh, I will. I don't, I don't care what I'm doing. I expect the picture. I will send you a full-on T-Mac pack picture. <laughs> okay. You don't want to know what a T-Mac pack is, but just you get the T-Mac pack picture, okay? Uh, All right, dude. Thank you so much, BZ, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for the support from day one. Like, if it wasn't for you, no, 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 no. What's my name? Mickles. Thank you. My my actual name. Michael. Yes. There we go. Thank you. I'm not even quite busy. Thank you so much, dude. Like for real. Yeah, I don't think you understand that it means the world to me that you were able to be like so supportive throughout this whole thing. Alright, boys, get ready. We're gonna have to go back in there. That's that's nothing. Oh, it's something, man. It may not seem like nothing to you, but it it means the world to me. We're so move straight up to you, the point, boys. You're we're getting it. fucking great for that. Thank you. You're welcome. Once you're all done right. reloading, anyways, I need to get some sleep. All right. Yes, you do, man. Good night and a thank right. you again. I will hear from you tomorrow. Hello. Oh yeah. yeah oh yeah. All right. Peace all right, buddy. Good night. Guys, welcome back. If you are just now joining, welcome to the stream. We got a mission now, and that's to defend. I'm following this guy. Let me go ahead and give you guys some sound too. That might help. Rather than it being a two. Oh, we lost. Okay. That works too. That was quick. That was very quick. <laughs> we'll jump back into it, don't worry. It the cool thing about this game too is that it loads back in very fast to another map. Like within seconds. See? NCO if I can handle it and we're in. The guys just get going. your bayonets on and go, no. we can get them right no. right when they're spawning. No. Right. Bayonets on, bayonets on. Bayonets and go. Any of my seven Tennessee boys here? Bayonets and go. Fuck them up. Someone's playing Dixie again. Sorry for the late guys, the game's being laggy. Again, you know, excuse it is in alpha mode, so this is gonna happen. Everybody charge. It's running pretty good for tonight, though. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Around the right, around the right. Shit. Around the right, around the right, around the right. I'm following. Oh, I'm next now. Woo, he shot. He shot him. I saw the blood squirt. You got him. That's not good. Ooh. Good. Gives me a second to give you guys some sound now. There we go. So, crappy way to have to start out, but... Sitting here so thirsty, I'm inhaling my drink. Woo, woo, woo. I think it's that and like a lack of just care in the world because you guys are so fucking great. That's probably the other reason. So I'll drink properly to that note. Oh, 
Alright, let's go boys, they're gonna be charging Okay. Pretend that never happened. Yeah, that looked weird. That was a respawn. And that's never happened before. But it's okay. Those are back. Ooh, there's Yankees. I guess I'll play sharpshooter for a little bit. This will be the last game for the night, everybody. We'll definitely be back on tomorrow and Sunday and Monday. Some more War of Rights. You know, we got drill Sunday afternoon. 2.30 p.m. EST. You want to see how some of the behind the scenes goes down for this game? <clears throat> Sundays at 2.30 are always the time to check it out. It's not boring, I promise. We laugh and joke around, too. We have this weird ritual where we teabag everybody and kill the flag bearer of our own team at the end of each drill. <laughs> but at the same time, we're also very serious about drill. So there are t there's a time to have fun. There's a time to take it serious and learn how to have some proper formation. Ooh, I see enemy flag. I like that. I don't like that. Damn, I'll trade it. Ooh, path to affiliate completed. Yeah. I got to take a picture for uh, Michael there, so let me go ahead and get that. And I need to take one selfie real quick, guys, so excuse the guys, stupidness. I know we're here. They're charging. Great. Once again, guys, you are the greatest for that. Thank you so much.